Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise Vidya. And yes, yes, y'all. Uh just want to say real quick, hey, thank you to all 55 of you uh great people who are uh supporting the channel. That's right, guys. We just hit 55 subs. May not seem like a lot, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's okay, you know what I mean? I mean, hey. That's 55 more people that I can, you know, share a room with. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather share a room with 55 people than with zero people. So with that being said, thank you all so very, very much. Really appreciate that support. Really appreciate that love, man. It means the world. For real, for real. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into this next 2K22 My Rise video. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder. Have you never had a chance to use your finishing mood? Is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? Eh. What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours. Which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Yes, sir. Because mama said knock you out. Oh! Really? really? <clears throat> okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? Are you serious? First one to hit theirs wins. Hmm. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not going to go to waste. Let's do this. And yes, guys, I did update my character's uh, move set, so uh, you guys are going to be in for some surprises. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started with this finishing strong story. And yeah, guys, unlike what we did with the female My Rise, I want to make sure that we hit up all of the uh, Performance Center stories before we jump to WWE uh, officially. Um, j just like we did with the female My Rise, I'm going to start out with NXT, and then I don't know if I'm going to go to Raw or SmackDown after. Spear, baby! Booyah! Oh, we got a finisher! And, booyah! Done! <laughs> Let's go! That's one of the few things I like about this game, is like, even though, like, they may reverse your signature, I like that the, the yellow meter... It doesn't run out. You, you can still build it up, so you can still earn your uh, finisher at least, and you can capitalize with the sit with the finisher. You know what I mean? I I like that system. It's it's more realistic, at least to me. Hey rookie, you have a passport or no? Call me a rookie. Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy win. So do you want to make the trip or no? Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase won it in too. So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. Good luck. Oh hell no. But yeah, I'm glad. Okay, we, so we gonna wrestle in Japan. Does that mean we get to unlock the Japan Arena? Uh, probably not, cause if I'm pretty sure it would have said right there. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, the reason I want to finish all the uh, PC uh, stories first is because hey, that's more um, you know attribute points. You know what I'm saying? To build up our character. So by the time we go into uh, NXT, you know what I mean? We'll be fully uh, prepared. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe not fully prepared, but we'll be we'll be better prepared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I'm not seeing a, a, any objectives in the corner, so I guess it doesn't really matter if I win or lose. You jerk. I'm not finished with you, Hector. Get your ass over here. Off me, Chase. Go back to being a mascot. Bulldog, never take your eyes off your opponent. What were you thinking? Uh, 
All right, we can go for the submission now. Hector's rolling out. Oh, yeah, we're going for the Cobra, bruh. Or should I say, we're going for the Cobra. Hey. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the Cobra. Uh, let's see. So my final win in Japan is going to be over you. Kind of underwhelming, but I guess I don't have much. I guess I don't have much choice. Yeah, you forgot the word of, so you don't have much of a choice. Uh, damn right, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them, them, uh, them, them grammar nasties. I can't say the other word because I'll probably get this this video pulled down, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, TOS. But anyway, <clears throat> let's see here. My choices are be ready for the fight of your life. I'm going to injure you. Said I'm not making that long of a trip just to do some sightseeing and lose to you. Be ready for the fight of your life. See, I built my reputation there for years. And the last thing I'm going to do is throw it all away against a nobody like you. Just make your flight, get to your arena, and I'll handle the rest. Yeah, we'll see about that. There we go. Now we're looking better. That's right, y'all. Look at that, that attire, man. We paying tribute to my man Scott Hall. May, may Scott Hall rest peacefully in paradise. You know what I'm saying? And thank you, Scott Hall, for all the awesome memories. Look at that. Got the hot rod pinstripes. You know what I'm saying? Because your boy be into cars. I love the low riders. I love the hot rods. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. We even got on, on the pants. Look at that. And all the tattoos that you see on my on my guy's arms, I legit have those tattoos, although they don't look exactly like that, but that's basically like the gist of what my tattoo situation looks like, you know what I'm saying? Hell, if you don't believe me, here's one of them right here. And yeah, as you can see, I got Jason Voorhees hockey mask on, you know, on that part of my arm there. They don't have it in there. I gotta look up community creations to see if they have the Jason Voorhees hockey mask so I can replace that that clown face. And nobody cares about you, Paragon. Just get your ass in the ring. There you go. A little spear action for you. Oh, what the hell? Get the hell off of me. And we do it a dead man sit up. Where are you freaking jabron? Give you the Kevin Nash elbow strikes. Now we going up top. We going to fly. Macho man elbow drop action there. Let's go. Spine to the pine, baby. And Yurinagi. Oh shit. Missed. Damn it. Oh! Really? There's no reversing that? Come on now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I was a little too quick for you there, man. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Let's go. Look at this. This guy already has a finisher, man. Ain't that a bitch? So Scott Hall fall away slam, baby. Let's go. And a stunner! <clears throat> had to go for it. I had to go for it. No! Nope! Get your ass up! Nope! That's never gonna win! That's never gonna hit me! Alright, so stop! Just stop! Calm your damn rolls! Now get your ass on up!
Rock bottom. Yeah, baby. And he's stunned. Let's go, Jabron. Yeah. Now who's the rookie? Oh, yeah. That's right. Look at that. That's right. Get hyped, baby. Get hyped. Let's go. So, one more match in Japan. Story is complete. We got time for more. We got time for more. We can do some more. All right. So, we is checking social media. Uh, let's see what Tasia has to say. See, at the Paragon JP lost his own farewell match. Hashtag savage. That's right, baby. Woo, yeah. Uh, who else is waking up at 4 a.m. local time to watch the Paragon JP farewell match? Okay, so it seems like that's all she was talking about. El Mago. This is, of course, in regards to the Mexico event. Ooh, Alexa Bliss. Let's see what she has going on over here. Headed back to my old stomping grounds this week for training. Let's see if any of these rookies at the PC can hang with the goddess. Ooh, and my choices are... Uh, I'll hang with you or is that even a question let's see what happens if I hit I'll hang with you I said I'll hang with you in the ring nothing personal unless not interested in anything outside the ring WWE Oscar will be at PC2 I need a partner to take to take her on in a mixed tag you want to step step up to the plate I'll do it let's go I'll do it. Maybe uh, it could lead to something bigger, like a mixed match challenge. Don't make me regret this. Hey, if you need a team name, how about Beauty and the Beast? Hey, hey, that's actually a good name. I'll take that. If I'm the Beast, then yo, that, that's good with me. It's a good one. How about you team up with Asuka? Done. She knows what kind of talent I am from my time in Japan. Nobody is ready for Asuka and the Paragon. Yeah, well, we'll see about that, Asuka, because I'm pretty sure my girl Alice Anderson whooped your ass plenty of times. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Mixed emotions. So we get one upgrade point, and then we get 1,057 fans. Let's do this. Oh, super kick right out the gate. <laughs> Come on, tough guy. Come on, man. What happened to all that noise you was talking? Hell's Gate. All right, Alexa got Asuka under control. Let's try this. Cross face. Man, that was a tight reversal window. I was surprised I was able to get it. Dress up. I was not trying to Irish whip. Bitch. No, we're going to work the arm. We're going to work the arm. Dr. J in the house. Now we we gonna go for a submission. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh hell. Oh 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 oh! I see you. I see you trying to. I see what you're trying to do here. I'm trying to show off. Mmm. We ain't done, bitch. Get your ass up. Ah. Uh, we ain't done. We ain't done.
That's right. That's right. I don't care. If I got to put you on the injured reserve list, I really don't care at this point. You are always running your damn mouse. And I'm finna to put a stop to it one way or another. Look at that. Red health. Damn it! I still can't believe there's no reversal prompts for that. It's a suplex. Let's go. Get your ass up, bitch. I'm gonna keep teaching you this damn lesson until it finally seeps into your damn brain. Like all that grease that you got on your head. Now get your punk ass up. And you're going to eat the submission. The, it's the Cobra. That's right. You better tap out. So mixed emotions is done. And we, we're hitting a bunch of quick stories. I think we got time for one more. Hey, it's Coach Sean. You don't have to say that. I mean, I can see it's you. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually got to meet Shawn Michaels during WrestleMania week back in 2015. I met him at the, I think it was, I think it was a Barnes and Noble, if not Borders. I don't know. It was one of those bookstores. He was signing his, um, his book that I bought a copy of. <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, I don't know how these things work. Anyway, good news. We've decided to reward your hard work with a non-televised match on NXT. You want to do it, right? See, definitely don't want to rush my debut. Nah, let's do it. Definitely, nothing wrong with training. Nothing wrong, nothing against training matches, but can't wait to compete in front of a live audience. Thanks. You've earned it. You got NXT. Let's go. Yo, why am I not wearing my ring attire? What the hell? Look at that. I already got my own Titan Tron and everything. I got to change the uh, Angel Garza side paneling there. The only reason I chose it in the first place is because uh, when you look at it in your creative entrance, it looks like it's like it's just water. <laughs> Booyah! Oh hell! Oh hell! Nope, get off me. And uh, we got to work these here. Oh, yeah. Get your ass on up. Stunner. Go for a pin. Damn it. What the hell? Get your hands off me. All right. We're going for the Cobra. That's right. Here is your winner, the outlaw, Jason J. V. Let's go, baby. See, you got NXT storyline complete, man. We can hit a bunch of quick storylines. Maybe there's actually some talent among these WWE PC rookies. You can hang anytime, JV. Yo. Oh, th thanks, Alessa. Hey, call me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lucky break, mate. Uh, well fought. Televised or not, still counts as NXT debut in my book. Remember my own... I remember my own loss. 
Oh, I remember my own... What? 12 seconds later. Oh, l lucky break, mate. Well fought. Televised or not, still counts as, as an NXT debut in my book. I remember my own. Lost a tough one. So, you have one, one more win in your column than I did. Hey. Hey, my man... My man showed me some, 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 uh, some, uh, a, a little, a little respect around here. He put some respect on my name. Yo, thank you, Danny. I appreciate that, bro. Let's see, Sean. Your, your finisher is no sweet chin music, but not too shabby. Oh, thank you. Oh, that must be a reference to the finisher match I had. That fatal four-way finisher match. El Mago. Nice meeting you at my show. Say hi to Hector Flores. For me, when you see him, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something there. Hector, heard you picked up the W over El over Mago Jr. Congrats, my man. Hey, thank you, Hector. Appreciate that, brother. Oh, my old MMA coach. Heard you sent Kushida back to the NXT. Ooh, I like what you did there. I see what you did there. That's dope. Road Doggy Dog. Hey, got an optional extra credit homework assignment for you if you're interested. Uh, if this involves picking up dry cleaning or washing your car, not interested. Nah, Chase already volunteered to do all that. I want you to study a WWE Legends matches. You can learn a lot from watching. You can learn a lot just by watching the greats. Accept the assignment. Decline the assignment. Are we going to accept? Who's the legend? Easy. Who... You, who'd you have in mind? That's up to you. But whoever you choose, don't just watch their matches. I want you to visualize facing them in the ring and what it would be and what it would take to compete on their level. Let me know who you pick. Ooh, I like the choices. You got Hulk Hogan. You got the Macho Men Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Then you got the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be Bret the Hitman Hart. Hey, look, nothing against Bret Hart. I, well, whenever he's an, he's an option, I always pick him. Let's see. Macho Man. I, I want to I fight my favorite. I want to fight Hulk Hogan. Let's, man, let's do it, brother. See, I'm going with the Hulkster. Solid choice. Let me know how it goes. Will do. So, Legends of the Pinfall. Ooh. And if we complete this, we unlock new, uh, what appears to be Western shirt tops for both male and female. And we get, uh, max upgrade points, which is three. And then we get, um, like a thousand and seventy eight more fans. So yeah, let's do it. Hey, I know, um, people still give Hogan shit, you know, over the, uh, the whole M-bomb situation. But shout out to my man, Scott Hall, because he brought up a, a great point in regards to that. It's like people want to, you know, hold that whole M bomb situation over Hogan's head, but and then completely ignore the fact that Hogan was sticking his twenty-four inch python in another man's wife. I mean, I'm just saying, bruh, bruh. And I don't care what anyone says, man. If you're gonna hold that dark cloud over Hogan's head, odds are you're probably one of those people who said some dumb shit in your life. I mean, I know I have. I'm not afraid to admit it. You want to dig up my past? You don't, don't bother. I'll tell you. I've said some dumb shit in my past. I've done some dumb shit in my past. So all that proves is that what Hogan did and what he said is that he's just as flawed of a human being as I am and as all of you who are watching this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, man. Don't be one of them cancel culture vultures. I mean, I like to hold shit over people's heads, man. Like, live and let live. You know what I'm saying? Forgive and forget. Move on, bruh. Let's go. I'm going to let my man come out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to show respect to the Hulkster. Because I don't think he gets enough of it for all of his contributions in the wrestling business. Oh, we got the yellow and red smoke. Let's go, baby. Hogan bringing the smoke. <laughs> there he is. Man, I love the opportunity to meet Hogan. I almost had a chance to meet Hogan, but I had to work. One of my all-time favorites. If it weren't for that man, I would not be a wrestling fan. 
It was the match between him and Warrior at WrestleMania 6, the ultimate challenge that made me a fan. And not just because of the match itself, which is a dope match, told a great story, but it was what happened after the match when Hogan handed Warrior the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. That made me a fan. You know what I'm saying? And I've been a fan ever since. Let's go. There he is. That's the man right there. I don't care what anyone says. Still number one in my book. Let's go, Hulkster. Let's go, brother. I gotta say, Hulkster's model looks really good, man. I think 2K did a solid job on his model. Oh, uh, this takes me back to um, Here Comes the Pain. Or not Here Comes the Pain, but I think it's Shut Your Mouth, where um, it came out right around the time of WrestleMania 18. And I got to fight Hogan in the game as myself. Oh, hell. Hogan with the choke slam. Oh, crap. All right, all right. I need to start being stop being starstruck. <laughs> Come on, Hulkster. No offense, brother, but I got I got I got to put you down. Oh yeah. How you guys like that lone wolf design right there? I did on my. On my, on my on my bottoms. It's paying tribute to Scott Hall. May he rest in peace. He formed the NWO with Hogan and Kevin Nash. This is a dope moment in wrestling history. I remember watching WCW when I was a kid. It was a good time. That was a great time to be a wrestling fan. Like, I couldn't wait to talk to my friends at school about, like, what happened, you know what I mean, with the NWO, WCW, WWF at the time. Come on, Hulkster. Come on, brother. Get up, brother. Brother, 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 brother. Brother! Let's go. Uh, I wasn't trying to repeat that move, but okay. Cross arm DDT. Ugh. Come on, brother. Fine to the pond, baby. I think I have enough for a sig. Sweet chin music, baby. Are we setting it up? We setting it up. We waiting. Rock bottom. Let's go. Ooh, SummerSlam 88. I like that. I need to see if I can get SummerSlam 88 on DVD. I have the SummerSlam anthologies, but I'm missing SummerSlam 88 because it got stolen. That's right. Look at that. SummerSlam 88. Man. I was like, what? See, 88? I was like two going on three at that time, which gives you an idea of how old I am. I 
Actually, I think by the time SummerSlam was out, I was already three. So, just letting you know, my homework assignment went well. I won my match. I would hope you wouldn't... I would hope you wouldn't lose a match to your own imagination, but nonetheless, let's uh, take on some extra credit. Oh, let's uh, tack on some extra credit and up the difficulty level with another hypothetical match. What are you thinking? This time, you're going to have you're going to have to imagine beating two of the biggest stars of all time in a handicap match. Ah, hell. It's probably going to be, what, Savage and Hart since I didn't pick them. Maybe I should have chose Bret Hart because then I would have went up against the uh, the uh, Mega Powers in a handicap match, probably. I don't know. This is the part of the story I didn't really get to see, so I don't know how exactly this part of the story works. Look at that with my Tron and everything, bruh. Come on now. Tell me that a gangster. Let's go. Making his way to the ring from San Jose, California. Right, baby. Weighing in at San Jose. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it's the great one. Another one of my all-time favorites. Oh, I gotta show some respect on The Rock, man. He's one of my favorites, especially from, you know, straight out of the Attitude Era. And his opponents, first, from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. How, so how can I weigh more than The Rock when, um, Dude is built like a shit brick house compared to my guy. I mean, look how jacked he is compared to my guy. There's no way he weighs less than I do. Man, Rock looks solid, though. No pun intended, but... Or maybe, yeah, no, fuck it, pun intended. But yeah, Rock looks solid, dude. They did a great job on his model. I wish it was the updated version of The Rock, though, with the with the new Brahma Bull tattoo. I'm about to look in Community Creations. Hopefully someone updated The Rock, or was able to. Stone Cold? Dude! Fun fact, I did actually get to meet Stone Cold. It was uh, summer of 2015. It was back in August of 2015. I got to meet Austin. He uh, autographed a, a card that my sister gave me for Christmas one year. And then he autographed one of my toy belts. It was actually, it's actually a toy Wing Eagle title. He autographed it. I have it somewhere. It's it's stashed away. And Austin is... I'm almost as tall as Austin. Austin has got, me I think, like at least a good two, three inches on me. Like, he's slightly taller than I am. He's got, like, a few inches on me. But, yeah, dude was solid, man. He was kind of in a rush, so I didn't get a chance to get a picture with him. I wish I could have got a picture with him so I could show proof. I only have pictures of me with Sean, me with uh, Big Show. I'll probably post on the video. Here to the rock, let's go. Does that bring back memories of your match with Goldberg? Damn it. Ow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Psych. <laughs> Ugh, stunner. And the king of the stunner is your partner. How ironic. <laughs> Stinger splash. Oh hell! Oh hell! Get off me! Yeah, I got a combo of my own, Rocky. What up now? Come here. Oh 
Chess up, Brock. Come on, you jabron. I ain't taking you lightly. Get your ass up. Another stunner. So nice we did it twice. And we're going for the Cobra. Damn it. Austin had to come in. Oh, what the hell? I'm pretty sure I pressed B. Give me the big sexy elbows. Get your ass up. Oh, no, 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 no! Sweet chin on Austin. Let's go. Nope. Bulldog. I went for the spear and he countered. No, put me down. Oh, hell, he threw me out. No cell. What up now, Austin? Huh? Huh? Heh. Get your ass back in the ring, Austin. Spear. No, you get your ass up how I want you to. Oh, I know what let's do. Get your ass up. Stunner! Rocky miss! <laughs> let's go. JV316 says, I just whooped your ass. And that's the bottom line because the outlaw said so. I had to do it. I had to do it. That's right. Alright y'all, I think this will be a great stopping point. So as you can see, we completed the Legends of the Pinfall. We unlocked some uh, some new tops. We unlocked some upgrade points. We got some fans. And uh, yeah, again, thank you everybody who is uh, subscribed to the channel. If, if you just subscribed to the channel, really appreciate y'all. Those of you who've been rocking with me for a good minute. I appreciate every single one of you. All 55 of y'all. You know what I mean? Thank you so much. Means means the world knowing that you guys are taking time out of your lives to watch my videos and everything. You know, and uh, yeah, just hope that you guys are enjoying the, the uh, series so far. Hopefully, you guys are, are, are entertained and everything. Uh, be sure to let me know by simply liking, commenting, and of course, if you're new here, subscribe. All that good shit uh, really means a lot. And also, also, don't forget to check out, uh, of course, all the links in the video description down below. Uh, so you can, you know, if you want to go check out my, my main channel, the link from my main channel. Uh, which where I do where it's more music based. I do music reactions. I also um, produce my own music uh, that you can hear on my on my main channel. Link for that's in the description down below. Also, uh, if you want some original JJV merch, uh, link for both my storefronts from Spring are in the description down below. And uh, yeah, and uh, pretty much all I got. So yeah, uh, till the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. All right, catch y'all later. Peace.